In order to manipulate audio files, you need an audio editing software. There are professional products such as Adobe Edition, but also freely available software such as Audacity. In the screencast, we are going to focus on the use of Audacity. First of all, we will discuss the download of Audacity and the basic setup. Then we will import an audio file and discuss the fundamentals of Audacity, but also some tools such as Zoom. Finally, we will export our file. But let's start with the download. You can use a website such as audacity.software.de. Then, you just have to push the big green download button. And once again. Now Audacity is being downloaded. And you just have to save the file on your computer. After the download of Audacity, we want to change the language first. We have to go to Edit or Bearbeiten, then to Einstellungen or Preferences, then select the Programmoberfläche or Interface, and then we can change the language, as in this example, to English, and confirm with the OK button. In essence, Audacity is an audio player and recorder and a mixing console that comes with a few extras. After you have started Audacity, you can load an audio file into the window by going to the menu bar, to File and Import. Select Audio and then you can open an audio file located on your computer. The import is finished and Audacity shows the audio file in its waveform. The horizontal axis is the time in seconds and the vertical axis is the volume in decibel. In the waveform window you can select and edit different sections by pressing the left mouse button and moving the cursor. You can then manipulate the selected section. For example, you can play it or delete it. Undo the deletion or copy it to a new file. If you go to Edit, Duplicate. For precise editing, you can also zoom into the waveform so that the time axis shows only a part of the whole file. You just have to push the strong button on your keyboard and use the scroll bar of your mouse to zoom in or out again. You can then select and edit sections that are only a few milliseconds in duration. With a little experience, zooming in the waveform enables you to make very small changes such as deletions. Just have to select an area again and delete it. Although the ear can hardly perceive these small changes, the end result will be much cleaner. When you're done with your editing, you can zoom out again and save the file. You just have to go to File in the menu bar, select Export, and then save the file wherever you want to. The extension will be the waveform.